Oasis class, Radiance class, Freedom class. What does it all mean today? I'm breaking down all the Royal Caribbean cruise ship classes up next. Hey everyone, it's Matt from RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com. Are you wondering what the differences are between Royal Caribbean ship classes? This is a question we get often. In fact, one of our viewers, Carlos, asked me on YouTube, says, can you do a video outlining the fleet, breaking down the ships by names and class and highlighting a few differences or distinct amenities? This would be an awesome video. And Carlos, I agree with you. I think it's a great idea for a video. And when we talk about classes, basically Royal Caribbean breaks its ships into classes, which are based largely on the ship general design and structure. Think of these like car models, which makes categorizing ships easier in broad terms. Within each ship class, there can be variations of features, restaurants, or activities that have been added or modified over the years. While there may be three, four, or more ships within a particular class, the exact onboard activities can vary. You might be wondering what makes a Royal Caribbean cruise ship class different from each other, and it really boils down to the size of the ship, onboard amenities, and signature activities offered. There are seven Royal Caribbean cruise ship classes, and each ship in the class was built around the same time, and from the outside certainly looks similar. So that leads us into what makes Royal Caribbean cruise ships different. And if you ask somebody to describe a Royal Caribbean cruise ship, there's a good chance they'll start talking about all the things you can do on board. For decades, Royal Caribbean has made a name for itself by building cruise ships with the I can't believe they put it on a cruise ship feature. Each new class of ships comes with a new array of whiz-bang activities that really capture the imagination. Royal Caribbean wants its ships to have something for everybody and directly markets to the multi-gen travel market. Over the years, the ships have become the destination just as much as the places around the world that the cruise ships visit. So you'll find plenty of restaurants, bars, activities, outdoor activities, pool deck fun, and a lot more. While all Royal Caribbean cruise ships have a common DNA of family vacation fun among them, each class of ships can vary in terms of what there is to do on board. If you've seen a Royal Caribbean television commercial in the last decade, let's say, then you've seen the largest cruise ships in the world featured, either an Oasis class or Quantum class ship. An Oasis class ship can handle more than 6,000 passengers and dwarfs every other cruise ship out there. There's one of everything on these ships. You'll never run out of things to do. The Quantum class and Freedom class cruise ships are relatively smaller than the Oasis class, but they offer a lot to do as well. The ships in these two classes are still mega ships and can handle between 4,000 and 5,000 passengers. These are big cruise ships that don't compromise on what you can enjoy on board. The last of the big ships in Royal Caribbean's fleet are the Voyager class, which are slightly smaller versions of the Freedom class. Royal Caribbean has been steadily upgrading Voyager class ships over the last few years, which has added new amenities. The last two classes of cruise ships are what many consider the smaller classes of ships, at least within Royal Caribbean's fleet anyway, and they come in under 3,000 passengers. The Vision and Radiance class are more of a niche cruise ship now, with the ability to get into smaller ports of call. Many cruise fans that have been cruising for decades love these smaller ships for the intimacy you'll find on board. Don't assume, by the way, that smaller means boring. There's still restaurants, bars, outdoor activities, and shows every night. The difference is there's not nearly as many options as you'll find on the bigger ships, so variety will be less. It can be daunting to find the right class ship to start with when you're new to Royal Caribbean. The key is to look at what features are available on each ship and then figure out which options are most important to you. So let's break down and explain every class of Royal Caribbean cruise ships, starting up with the Oasis class. The largest cruise ships in the world, Royal Caribbean's Oasis class ships, offer the latest and greatest features found on any ship in the fleet, as well as the industry, quite frankly. The Oasis class ships can handle just about 5,500 passengers and have a gross tonnage of over 225,000 gross tons. Just means they're big. <laughs> if you're concerned about crowds and navigating a ship of this size, Royal Caribbean's got you covered. Royal Caribbean designed the ship to be easy to get around and break up crowds. There are seven neighborhoods, with eight on Wonder of the Seas, to help distinguish parts of the ship apart from guests, and that way there are lots of activities on Oasis class ships that everyone will be on on their own schedule. Oasis class ships are among the newest Royal Caribbean cruise ships in the fleet, so they're packed with the latest and greatest. So why would you want to go on an Oasis class ship? Well, because you want it all on one ship. The latest features, tons of activities, and great dining. There are a number of Oasis class ships, including Oasis, Allure, Harmony, Symphony, and Wonder of the Seas, and you've got Utopia of the Seas coming in spring 2024. As I mentioned earlier, there's no shortage of things to do on an Oasis class ship, such as, of course, the Aqua Theater, Broadway Musicals, Water Slides, Zip Line, Central Park, Flowrider Surf Simulators. In fact, they have two of them on the Oasis class. Boardwalk, Carousel, Ice Skating Rink, Loft Suites, Outdoor Movie Screen, Solarium. I mean, it's really got everything. Let's move on to the Quantum class. Then The Quantum class is really what Real Caribbean hoped to take into the 21st century with a more innovative approach with a blend of 
high-tech, and tried-and-true family vacation experiences. The Quantum Class are stylish new ships that offer incredible views and activities on board. Quantum Class ships have signature features found just on these ships and are a big hit with families of varied ages. Quantum Class ships are the sort of ship that has something for everyone to enjoy, whether you're new to cruising or an established veteran. So what makes the Quantum Class different and why would you want to choose them? Basically, it's great for families looking to do lots to do on board with some incredible features. The entertainment and the fact that a lot of it is more indoors than other ships means it's perfect for some of the colder or less warm environments that are out there. The Quantum Class ships include Quantum of the Seas, Anthem of the Seas, Ovation of the Seas, Spectrum of the Seas, and Odyssey of the Seas. Some of the amazing things you can do on a Quantum Class ship include the North Star, which is an observational pod, Ripcord by iFly Skydiving Simulator, Cplex, Float Rider Surf Simulator, Virtual Balcony Staterooms, Loft Suites, Music Hall, Broadway Musicals, Outdoor Movie Screen, and of course, the Solarium Area as well. Next up is the Freedom Class, which offers a big ship experience with plenty to see and do on board. In fact, Royal Caribbean updated two of them with much more to do in just the last few years. We're talking about, of course, Freedom of the Seas and Independence of the Seas. Freedom Class represents an excellent value for families that want to cruise on a large ship, have plenty to do on board, but not break their budget. From a pure value standpoint, I think the Freedom Class ships are a great choice for a fabulous cruise experience. In terms of design, the Freedom Class ships are essentially a slightly larger version of the Voyager Class sisters, which we'll talk about next. So why would you choose the Freedom Class? Well, you want a big ship experience minus the premium price tag that the newer ships we just talked about currently command. There are three Freedom Class cruise ships in the fleet, Freedom of the Seas, Liberty of the Seas, and Independence of the Seas. On a Freedom Class ship, you'll find Rock Climbing Wall, Aqua Park, Ice Skating Rink, Royal Promenade, Designer Shopping, Solarium Pool for the Adults, Outdoor Movie Screen, Panoramic State Rooms, Flowrider Surf Simulator, and Water Slides. At 156,000 tons, the Freedom Class cruise ships are about a third the size smaller of an Oasis class ships. They carry significantly fewer passengers than an Oasis class ship, which is a nice benefit as well. And Freedom and Independence of the Seas have a little bit more of double occupancy because of recent updates. Next up, we have the Voyager class. And when Royal Caribbean introduced the Voyager class, it revolutionized the industry with features and activities that we cannot dream of not having on a cruise ship these days. Mini golf, Royal Promenade, ice skating, and more all had their start on the Voyager class. Just like the larger Freedom class ships, Voyager class vessels are an amazing valley and offer some incredible itineraries. Royal Caribbean is not done investing in these ships and have added new restaurants, surf simulators, aqua parks, entertainment, and more over the last couple of years. One of the main differences between the Voyager class and the Freedom class ship is that the Royal Promenades on the Voyager class ships are a bit shorter. The top deck areas of the Voyager class ships are also more truncated compared to the Freedom class vessels, and the Freedom class vessels have cantilevered hot tubs, if that's important to you. Generally speaking, the Voyager class ships are about 11% smaller than Freedom class ships. So why would you pick a Voyager class ship? Well, there's plenty to do on board, newly added features, and terrific pricing. It's a great choice for families looking to save some money. There are five Voyager class ships, Voyager of the Seas, Explorer of the Seas, Adventure of the Seas, Navigator of the Seas, and Mariner of the Seas. In particular, the upgrades to Mariner and Navigator of the Seas truly stand out as one of my favorite ships in the fleet to choose from because of the great new options available on board. Speaking of features on board, when you go on a Voyager class ship, there'll be a rock climbing wall, ice skating rink, royal promenade, pub, virtual balcony staterooms, adult solarium, outdoor movie screen, and flow rider surf simulator. Next up is the Radiance class, which combines a lot of glass and open areas to provide guests with a classic cruise experience. The Radiance class ships are stylish and get into many of the smaller cruise ports around the world that the bigger Royal Caribbean cruise ships cannot. Radiance class ships do not skimp on things to do, offering plenty of dining experiences, as well as terrific live entertainment. Veteran cruisers enjoy the Radiance class for the ship's refined offering and easygoing atmosphere. At 90,000 tons, the four vessels in the series are less than half the size of the Oasis class ships, but again, there's still plenty to do on board. Each of the vessels have more than a half dozen places to eat, including a main dining room, casual buffet, steakhouse, Italian restaurant, and of course, sushi restaurant as well. You'll find three pools on each of the ships, whirlpools, miniature golf, rock climbing wall, and they all also have a theater, spa, casino, multiple bars, and actually a movie theater on board. There are four Radiance class cruise ships in the fleet, Radiance of the Seas, Brilliance of the Seas, Serenade of the Seas, and Jewel of the Seas. And then we have the Vision class, which is designed to fit into almost any port in the world, which means that guests can travel to exotic ports of call anywhere, literally. Like the Radiance class, Vision class ships combine a small size with plenty of activities added over the years. Whether you're looking for to do it all or just relax, Vision class ships are a great choice. 
Now, these ships were built in the 1990s, so they are the smallest and oldest ships in Royal Caribbean's fleet, but they appeal really to people who are looking for a more intimate experience with fewer onboard attractions and amenities and more of a classic cruising experience. I think it's also fair to say that a lot of the times people book Vision Class ships because they're more interested in the destinations that they visit rather than what's available to do on board the ship. Vision class ships in Europe will often offer very much port and sense of itineraries. And in the Caribbean, you'll get longer trips, which means more than maybe seven nights on board. Now, as I mentioned, there's not nearly as much to do on a vision class ship compared to the bigger ships in the fleet. So you'll still have a rock climbing wall, but that's about it in terms of the top deck attractions. There's no surf simulators, no skydiving simulators. It's really about, of course, enjoying the pool, whirlpools, and sunning areas, which was pretty much the norm for cruises built in the 1990s. They all have at least two pools and six whirlpools, except for Enchantment of the Seas, which actually has three pools and six whirlpools. Why? Because Enchantment of the Seas was actually stretched. They cut the ship in half, put a new section in, and then fused it all back together. It's something they don't do anymore, but it's the last of the cruise ships in Royal Caribbean's fleet to be stretched, so it has a little more space there. Each Vision Class ship has at least one specialty restaurant, including Chop's Grill Steakhouse and Giovanni's Table. Rhapsody of the Seas has the biggest selection of dining. Enchantment has the smallest. Three of the four vessels, all but Enchantment of the Seas, have Izumi on board. And there's still one more class ship, which at the time of the recording of this video, we still don't know a lot about. I'm sure in three months from now, we'll get comments. Why don't you talk about the Icon Class? But the Icon Class is the next new evolution of Royal Caribbean cruise ships. And again... We know very little about it. Royal Caribbean has been very quiet about the Icon class, but it'll handle around 5,000 passengers and will be built on new fuel cell technology, including liquid nitrogen, gas, and fuel cells. Technology has been used in space shuttles and satellites for years and is a much greener way of powering ships. There are going to be three, at least for now, Icon class cruise ships with the first one debuting in late 2023. So now that you know more about each of the classes of ship, which is the right one for you or not for you, and really there is no simple answer because it really depends on what you are looking for. Each cruise ship offers a different experience that caters to specific styles of cruising. Just like a vacation to the Grand Canyon or Chicago may appeal to certain people as an amazing trip while others may cringe at the idea, cruise ships come in different sizes and with different amenities to carry a certain appeal to it. So when you pick the right Royal Caribbean cruise ship or class of cruise ships to sail on, it's a question of what you want the ship to have on board and does the ship or class ships you're considering have those features? Hope you found this breakdown helpful and let me know in the comments below which class ships do you prefer and which ones have you been on or not been on? Looking forward to seeing your comments down there. While you're below our video, please hit that like button. It really helps us out. Subscribe to our channel and turn on your notifications. That way YouTube lets you know we have a brand new video to share. This has been Matt from RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com. We'll talk again real soon.